Is it safe to let your browser remember passwords? The often overlooked risk. Hi everyone, I'm Leo Notenboom for AskLeo.com. Since 2003, I've been answering questions and sharing opinions about technology here at AskLeo.com. I want to quickly thank the patrons of AskLeo for making these videos possible. Without their support, AskLeo simply wouldn't exist. AskLeo.com slash patron for more information, including access to exclusive patron only content. So the question I got was this. If I consider my computer to be physically secure, am I reasonably safe letting Firefox remember my passwords without using a master password? Or am I being incredibly stupid to do that? What if I do use a master password? I'm not a fan of letting your browser remember passwords for you. For the longest time, password vaults within the browser were kind of a add-on. They weren't the fun browser's primary function uh, and they were just essentially a checkbox feature. I much prefer using dedicated tools that have been designed from the start to keep your passwords stored securely for you. Password vaults like LastPass and others. However, there are some scenarios where it can be at least convenient to uh, look at using your browser to save your passwords. But there's an often overlooked feature of most browsers remembering passwords that I think surprises people when they don't realize that it exists. Let me show you real quick in Microsoft Edge. So we're running my Windows 10 home machine here, and I've got Microsoft Edge, the browser, running here for me. Um, I'm going to go to the settings, and you can see here one of the options is passwords. I'll click on that. Now you can see that it is showing me my saved passwords, but where it shows a password, it actually has it listed as dots for my protection. If I click the eye icon to show the password, I'm first asked for my Windows password or PIN. This is the equivalent of a master password in browsers like Firefox and Google. It's simply that Microsoft browsers rely on your Windows login to be this level of security. Once I do that, you can see there it is in all its glory, my actual real password for this account, the one that I'll be changing as soon as I stop recording this video. Now, the reason that that may be a surprise to some people is that in browsers like Firefox or Chrome, if you don't set a master password, anybody could walk up to your computer and do what I just did. They can fire up your browser's password settings and easily look at the saved passwords that your browser has kept for you. So clearly, takeaway number one is if you're going to use your browser to save passwords, make sure you set a master password. In the case of Edge and Internet Explorer, it's kind of already done for you. But especially if you use Chrome or Firefox, please set a master password to at least prevent people from walking up to your computer and being able to examine and steal your actual passwords. My preference, as I said, is to use a dedicated utility like LastPass to do this for you. Not only is it more convenient uh, it will save passwords across multiple browsers, multiple devices, including your mobile devices. It's dedicated to password storage. It is architected from the beginning to save your passwords securely. You can configure things like timeouts so that your master password has to be specified in order to use the utility at all. You can configure certain logins, like say your bank's login, to require that you confirm you know the master password before that login is even used. And you can enable two-factor authentication. None of the browser-based saved password solutions currently support two-factor authentication, where most of the third-party tools like LastPass do. As always, it's important to use utilities like LastPass securely, but 
if you use them securely. They are not only more convenient, but I still strongly believe that they are significantly more secure than almost any other alternative you can think of. So let's say you want to mitigate the risk of browser saved passwords. Well, there are a couple of levels of security you can look at there. Do nothing but rely on physical security. If someone can't walk up to your machine, they can't do this. Or can they? A remote access Trojan, for example, would give them remote access to the same information that somebody walking up to your computer could. Use a master password. Like I said, if you're going to use passwords saved by your browser, definitely at least do this. Clear the list and stop remembering. Just don't remember passwords. It's less convenient. You'll have to either remember them yourself or have your own uh, list not stored on your computer, but they won't be on your computer. They won't be there for theft. The most convenient and I still believe the most secure solution is to use a dedicated password vault application instead. What I do. So I, of course, run multiple browsers. Uh, in front of me, in fact, I've got Chrome and Edge running uh, side by side, a couple of different instances of each, but I have the same set of passwords available in each. I disable the remember password feature in all of my browsers. I just do. I don't rely on any of them to do that for me at all. In fact, in order to generate the example that I gave in this video, I had to go back in and turn it on briefly. And you can see that it remembered exactly and only one password that I elected to use for this video. I use LastPass to store all of my passwords, everything. I use LastPass to generate long and secure passwords, passwords that I would never remember myself, passwords that basically you can't use unless you're using a password vault of some sort. I currently use passwords of 20 random characters. On my mobile devices, LastPass is configured to require that I re-enter either a PIN or my master password after a certain amount of time. And I require two-factor authentication in LastPass on my laptop uh, specifically, and even on new installations on my desktop so that my LastPass password vault is as protected as it possibly can be. Honestly, I recommend you do what I do. Don't rely on browser-based password saving. Rely instead on a tool specifically designed to do that for you. LastPass is my choice. As always, if you found this video useful, informative, helpful, please do hit that thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button so you'll get my future videos as they're published. That all helps others find Ask Leo and answers to their questions on YouTube when they're searching. For links related to the article that this was based on, as well as comments on that article, visit askleo.com slash 16718. I'm Leo Notenboom. This is AskLeo.com. Thanks for watching.